from the flight deck to your TV set. From the flight deck to your TV set, you're watching Five Minutes with Herb. I'm your host, Herb Jackson. And as always, my goal here is to make this the best five minutes of your day. So I ask that you sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome aboard. My guest today is a working actor who has trained with members from the esteemed New York Film Academy. She has a list, a growing list of uh, roles, recurring roles, and that includes some shows such as Netflix's Outer Banks as Deputy Plum. She's also been cast on The Gifted as Heather. The Purge as Sarah Williams. And of course, Bounces TV's original series, Saints and Sinners, as Detective Alvarez. So, without further ado, let's welcome aboard Shell Ramos. So, it's um, Pensacola, Florida, correct? Yep, born and raised. Little born Pensacola. and raised. Okay, tell us a little about that upbringing and when you kind of, you know, thought you would become an actor. It was my mom put me in uh, dance classes when I was a kid and I loved being on stage and I thought I was going to be like, you know, a dancer. Like I was dancing until I was 18 years old. And um, then I was like, oh yeah, well, you know, dancers, their, their bodies, they only last, you know, until they're like 35. So I started to think of like different avenues and I still wanted to, you know, enter entertain and perform. And so then I started taking acting classes in Orlando at Art Sex Studio and that, the rest is history. <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. Um, also, you know, you I, I read about, I think it was either Ray Liotta or this guy Al Pacino or something you ended up uh, working with in one of your very first uh, uh, roles. Yeah, so, um, so I actually worked with both of them, which was amazing, like two legends. I was like, oh my God, is this happening to me in this lifetime? Um, I worked with Al Pacino first, though, in Hangman. And uh, that moment, that was probably like, my heart stopped, I feel like, for about a week. Yeah. You know, one of those legends that, like, you just see on TV, and it's like, wow, I I get to, like, converse with you. I get to, like, share this energy with you. And it was, it was such an incredible experience, like, watching him. And then, like, there were moments where they were having trouble with, like, the camera. Uh -huh. And a moment where I was, just, you know, supposed to be, like, really, you know, worked up and crying. And I was able to bring the tears every time, but... It was so cool how, as a co-star, you don't even think about it in, this is Al Pacino, this is Shell, and I'm, yeah. you know, all got right now. It was another actor giving another actor some love, and he was just showing me, like, just giving me different pictures so I can come up with organic moments, and it was such, it was really cool to ground myself. So that was a really special lesson. Um, it was really, I was really thankful for him in that moment. So you continue on from having that wonderful experience and um, you end up on what I call groundbreaking Bounce TV's original series, Saints and Sinners. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about that? So that was my first um, series regular role. Like that was the first one. And, and you know, George Pierre is the casting director for it. And um, when I first moved to Atlanta, he was like, he was one of the first casting, casting directors that really like, you know, believed in, in me and um, cast me in a lot of stuff. He was very like loyal to my career. I owe a lot of my stuff to him because, you know, but um, when I first got Saints and Sinners, um, it started out like as a smaller like role and then it progressed to like where I was in every episode. And um, like, that was the start of me having a very like tough like more on the tough side. Cause now like that's a lot of my career. I play like a lot more like of the tough, tough girl roles. And that was the very first one because before all of that, like it was like more bubbly, more friendly. And, yeah. and they, you know, that I think they just saw something in within my character that they wanted to be like, no, this girl's tough. <laughs> you know? And yeah, you go from detective Alvarez to, I mean, Sarah Williams in the purge. Yeah. Well, I, so there was a couple of other ones in between there, but, um, but yeah, I, I finished shooting, um, sing, or I'm sorry, um, The Purge, not last year, but the year before. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it was so great. I was actually shooting Outer Banks and The Purge at the same exact time. Oh, wow. And it was like, because The Outer Banks, it was only supposed to be a couple episodes and then they started adding more. So I was like, well, 
can you guys work it out? And they ended up working it out so beautifully. I was so thankful for, because both of those are very, very great roles and I'm very grateful for, so. And, and the gifted also. Um, yeah. That was the first one that I had like, like I'm not really into like the fictional stuff, but uh -huh. I got to have like superpowers and like, oh my gosh, that was so great. Yeah, the gifted was great. Yeah, you and your crew, they really, you guys really, you know, took care of business. And for me, like I said, watching The Gifted and, and The Purge, I, I could kind of almost like merge the two worlds together. And, and you could almost bring it to modern day because of what the, there's so much, I want to call it nationalism in these shows. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And the scary, like, you know, these things, like I think like the writers, you know, you think about these, like, you're just like letting your imagination fly and all of these things. And now it's like, wow, this stuff is like actually could <laughs> become real. And it's yeah. like, all right, I'm glad I learned all these skills on set because now I can defend myself in the real world. <laughs> well, hey, I got to say thanks for joining me this afternoon. However, before we go, as the audience knows, we got to get you in the lightning round. My so, favorite. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. All right, let's start off with, who is a better upholder of the law? Deputy Plum or Detective Alvarez? Oh, Lord. Um, I'll say Deputy Plum. All right, we'll go with Deputy Plum. There you go. <laughs> you have two crews. I got to ask you, who is a better leader of those crews? Was it Max or Ryan Grant? Oh, God. Uh, I'm gonna say, ah, uh, I'm gonna say Max. Max, okay, here we go. All right, I, I'll let you off with an easy one right now. You're gonna have okay. me over for lunch. You're gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna have me over for lunch. And what are you gonna serve me? Are you gonna serve me some of those yummy raw vegan tacos, or are we gonna go with the raw collard wraps? The tacos, the tacos. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now. There's a lot of conflict in a couple of the shows you were in. So this this is a, a clash of cultures or whatever you want to call it. And I got to ask you, which of these two clashes is more fierce? The inner circle and the mutant underground or the kooks versus the pogues? Kooks versus the pogues. Kooks versus the pogues. That's right. Yep. Classic class warfare there, huh? Right. <laughs> Finally, before I let you go... I got to ask, what happens on Purge Night? Stays on Purge Night. There you go. <laughs> Shell, thank you so much for joining me here. I really appreciate it. Folks, that's another edition of Five Minutes with Herb. Thanks for watching. We're going to catch you on the next one. Have a good time. Bye.